here on an absolutely massive machine shop now, Jez. Um, can you explain to me what Mason Pinder do, please? Uh, Mason and Pinder repair, modify, and, re and service all plastic injection mold tools for Polypipe. And Polypipe are the biggest uh, plastic manufacturers in the UK. And Polypipe, given the fact they make so many different parts, I guess, do you get a lot of different molding, mold, mold tooling? Yeah, yeah, there's thousands and thousands of mold tools. They're all bespoke, they're all very intricate. Uh, there can be a variety, variety of different problems on each one, and we need a, a good skill set of men to be able to produce the accuracy we need. And I guess, the, are they quite high value as well? Yeah, yeah, the value of the tooling can range anything from £30,000 up to £500,000. £500,000 so, for yeah, one yeah. piece of mold tooling? Yeah, for one mold tool, yeah, very so, expensive. And I guess with quite intricate parts, there are some parts you can't make on a CNC machine. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, when we can't uh, produce the parts on our CNC milling machines, we'll produce them on our spike erosion section. But, and we're here to talk about a Joe Mars machine, EDM machine from yeah. Eurospot. But before the machine came on site in your EDM section, what kind of problems were you having? Yeah, we had a, a, a machine which uh, was very dated. All the parts for it were obsolete, and it was, uh, it was down more than it was operating, so we got a big backlog of uh, tooling and parts that we needed to manufacture, and we were just getting further and further behind. And someone recommended a brand new EDM machine um, in from your EDM cell, is that right? Yes, one of our engineers uh, who had past experience with, with the machine in question. Steve, why did you recommend this machine? Um, I've been using Joe Mars machines for about 15 years at, uh, at a previous company and I uh, came to this company and one of our machines was breaking down all the time and we decided to decommission it and uh, Simon asked if there were any particular machine that I would like to, to run. And, uh, and you went straight to Joe Mars? Went straight to Joe Mars, yeah. Why is that? I mean, let's look at the NP50 right now. What, what about the machine um, made you think, look, I need to have this on, on, on the shop floor? Um, it, the, the tank size is a decent tank size. You can get loads of different jobs on here. Um, you can why do you want to get loads of different jobs? I mean, it is a big working area, but why don't you just, like right now, you're just doing one job. Why do you want to put loads of different jobs on? Um, if we're removing a lot of material then, um, and we want to leave something running over the weekend, we can get a, a variety of jobs on there, uh, a variety of inserts on there and, and leave it running for a long time. So these are all parts for injection moulding tools. And what is specific to these kinds of components? Are they complex? Are they difficult to make? Why do they have to be put on this machine? Um, at the moment it's a repair job and we're repairing some gates which have cracked um, and it's quite easy to put on, pick up and, uh, and spark your road to a, a fine finish with a high degree of accuracy. And looking at the machine, I'm afraid, ashamed to say, looking at the MP50 right now, um, I thought it just had a single Z axis but it's not, it's actually got its full three axis EDM machine so it looks quite simple but it definitely packs a punch. Why do you need a three axis EDM machine rather than just a single Z axis? Um, if you wanted to produce a, a thread in some hardened material, but, um, if it's post heat treat and you can't get a tap down there we can do that with an EDM electrode and also for such as uh, this job here um, if I was to just do that sinking from the top, it would take a long time, but I can actually side spark that, so that would reduce the sparking time and you're still producing the same shape. So with those three axes, you've got a lot more options, especially when you're doing difficult parts like the components inside these, these injection mould tooling. And if we look at the back of the tool here as well, what's, what's this kind of complex form we've got? Um, that's for location, for putting in, in the top head, it's for repeatability, so once that part's picked up, if I've got more than one electrode to put down, I don't have to keep picking the, the job up continuously. Is it quite complicated to change tools then? No, it's really simple. Okay, let's have a quick look. How do you change the tooling on? Uh, just simply with an Allen key. Okay, so you grab the you grab the Allen key. Oh, it's just a single Allen key? Yeah, yeah, just a five mil key and that'll release. And what kind of tools can you change, change between with this system? Um, you can put various probes in for picking jobs up as well as your electrodes. Also, there's a, we can mount a, a DTI on there for clocking jobs up. Okay, so it's, so it's good for, not just for cutting the parts, it's for, for, for setting the jobs up as well. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fantastic for that. Yeah. Brilliant, and I'm absolutely amazed at how much this machine can do for um, the affordability. Um, if you could sum up this machine, and what, what, what do you think were the main point 
that convinced uh, Jez that they needed this machine on the shop floor? Um, that they're really reliable, and uh, if anything does go wrong, you can get you can get parts within within a couple of days. The maintenance is really easy. Um, so we've seen how easy it is to tool change. What about actually programming and setting up job on the control? Yeah, it's really easy to uh, to set up and really easy to program. I've been using these for 15 years, and they're the, the easiest machines I've ever used. Okay. And what about the affordability of the machine? Uh, well, we originally budgeted for a second-hand machine, but we found we could get a brand new machine that really packs a punch. That's some strong recommendations from Stephen. But what has the EDM machine done for your business as a whole? Well, we don't have to subcontract our work out anymore. The machines run like clockwork for over a year and it's enabled us to clear our backlog of work.